What's the name? Princess Peach Showtime. Thank you. Welcome back to Princess Peach Showtime, the final performance. Time to take a bow, but it's, first. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, you can take a bow. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh, and oh. I should also mention it's curtains for Madam Grape. It's certainly going to be curtains. We're going to be finally drawing the curtain on this foul, foul villain. It's curtain coffee. Curtains. You get it. It's because it's the end of the show. Mm hmm. All right, we got the power of sparkle on our side, but we still need some gems. How many do you think we need? Oh, uh, 120. We need 30. D what? What do you mean only 30? We only need 30. Oh. So, if you have gotten all the sparkle gems up until now, you should have 120 left. We have 115. So I missed five. I'll give myself five lashings after this recording. Oh, the number of lashings is equal to the number of sparkle gems. How else will I learn? Oh, yeah, that's true. But what if the other cast members come in and loan their sparkler to help open the door? Look at all of them, they're cute. Yeah, look at all of them. We, the, all the friends we made along the way, and we, we did such great work together, all of us. By the power of love. The power of theater, my friend. The power of th theater is actually very powerful. Oh. Whoa. And now Stella is worth like 200 sparkle gems. We've got one more transformation left I to go. I beg your freaking pardon, friend. You see, when I, get, when I saw the trailer to this game, I knew that the ending would be a Kirby moment. Ultima? Sparkla. A bit more than Sparkla. What on Let Earth? Let your hair down, grow that crown. What? And feast your eyes upon the magnificence, the royalty, the absolute jaw-dropping awe of Radiant Peach! Which, oh, I mean, I've oh, seen Rule 34. Certainly a Radiant Peach, if you ask me. Oh <laughs> my god. Look at this! Look at this shit! Wow! Giving Rosalina a run for her fucking money! I was about to say, the second coming of Star Mom. It's like, you're Star Mom? Cool. I'm a theater kid! <laughs> <laughs> she just rips the door open. <laughs> That's a- <laughs> Yeah! All right, dive into the darkness. In we go. Time for the final battle. Nope. Hey, uh, Madam Grape, they said it's curtains for you. What does that mean? It means you're fired. Oh. See, curtains for your job. Oh, oh my God, we're in space. Okay. How perfect. Oh. Oh shit. Welcome to my glorious stage! She's so Balan it hurts. <laughs> oh my god. So you see Balan, I see Mystical and Star and Goemon. <laughs> Gorgeous! My stage! I can see it. Like, if we were to, like, blow her up, I think her hands would become Glovers. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. A little mixture of everything. She's also part Rayman. She, this is a little bit of everything. That's the reemergence we didn't need, but wait, he's getting a remastered for- Oh, shit. Oh, God. Glover's back, baby! No, he isn't! It's showtime! Glover 2! Alright, well, now it's time for the final battle with Balan Wondergrave. Here we go! Oh, shit. I think we started something. <laughs> just start shooting I'm sparkle sorry. Jumps. That's all you gotta what? do. What? Oh, oh. Just, just shooting? Yeah, just, just shoot sparkle gems at her. That's all I gotta do. Avoid Eat radiance, Ow. bitch! Avoid all that, though. She's being kind of cheeky with it right now. No, oh, and you gotta destroy her peacock feathers. Oh my lord! The power of sparkla can change everyone. I guess. Even you. Uh oh. I think I'll just crush you with these giant presents. 
These are from my fans. <laughs> no thanks, we don't take suspicious packages. That's what a P.O. box is for. Wave two, wave two. By the way, this is so curvy it hurts and I, I kind of I know, love right? It. I whoa, whoa. Love it. Uh go faster, please. I know you're trying to be all theatrical with it, but the fire is coming. Oh. <laughs> the little guys there are just they're just tipping their hat to you. It's like, <laughs> hello, princess. Please don't kill me. I've got a family. Apologies that negotiations have broken down. We've gone past the time of negotiations. <laughs> but I thought you were a merciful monarch. Well, you thought wrong. Sorry you thought I was nice. All right, so close, so close. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. One more. Get that gap in between one there. One more, one more. The boxes again. Thinking the Rowan boxes. Here she comes. You think right you should? there. You think you should? You right there. There we, we go. go. Phase three. See, All you bosses got a phase three. Let's go. I was just waiting on her to like, instead of like, spark to life, she just like cracks her neck. Like, <laughs> I'm ready. Woo. Okay. Nice wave. I like this wave. Get aggressive. Yeah. Oh, she's sick of your shit. Full stop. Sick of your shit, Princess Peach. Madam Great, please. That is so very not lady of you. Oh, now she's throwing bigger That's boxes. That's gonna hurt. Oop. Yep. Go, 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 go. That's a gold one. Oh, that's just huge. It's a lavish present. Made of pure iron. What? Almost. Oh, <laughs> look, an adoring fan sent me another brick. Oh. Ah! Oh, you got this. It's so over. It is so over for you, Madam Grape. Like, you're trying to sing on that microphone wand of yours? Nah. Nah, not this Almost. time. Almost. And... Yeah! All right! Ooh, a little hooozy. Spirit bomb? Yeah! yeah! Oh, hey, how about another? Uh, oh, uh, I'm sorry. Did you want another? Hey, uh, Fuck out of here! You just disintegrated your enemy. <laughs> Nothing to it. All right. That's the end of Madam Grape, and that is the end of Princess Peach Showtime. Get rid of your radiant powers just in time for her to come back for a second phase. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right. Let's get back with everyone and... Nope. Destroy the mask. Destroy the mask. It's never over. I told you it's a Kirby game. Of course there's a second phase, you fool! But we already got rid of the sparkler. <laughs> See, this is her second game. She's not used to these, you know, uh, boss getting back up things yet. <laughs> the panic was setting in. Stella was like, What do we do? <laughs> get, the, get the radiance! Oh, no! Oh, no! Well, great. Now she's, like, super more powerful than ever. Cool! You think, that, you think that's, like, Majora's wife or something? Ooh, she's just as psychotic as the original Majora. Eesh. Ooh, maybe it's like her, like his daughter or something. <laughs> Even so, worse. Instead of taking over the family name of, of dooming the world, she wants to doom all the world's culture and theaters. Monster. <laughs> Wasn't the story behind Majora? Uh, hi, I'm bored. I'm just going to ruin all of eternity. All right. I don't know about Majora, but that's what the, the Skull Kid does. Like, ooh, what's this mess? It kind of like <laughs> must end world. Now she's really getting huge. Uh, no kidding. That's uh, enormous. Sup, Ursula? Oh. Uh, oh. I, uh. Oh. So I didn't beat Balan Wonder World like everybody else on the planet, but Bro. Uh, I don't think it ended quite like this. Bro. Well, Peach doesn't give up because she's a hero, too. And everybody recognizes that. All the denizens underneath the rubble take my spirit energy. Why, of course not. It's all of the audience members who've, who've borne witness 
to Peach's incredible talent. So they use the power of their sparkler to bring it back to her. I wonder if you were to do this on like an actual stage play, you just see the audience just go here and then spot spotlights show up just to give her more energy. But you got that one idiot in the crowd that's just like, eh, he gets thrown out. Theaters will will do will go to great lengths to shame one person in the audience. You see, <laughs> especially hecklers. Oh yes. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yes. Oh yes. Come on, Peach. Let's go. Let's really end this in a Kirby-esque final boss battle. Let's do it. Jesus, that's such a great design. You know, we got a different sparkle power this time. Uh, straight up. Kamehameha! Beam! But what if beam, though? Just shoot the mask and avoid her shit that she throws at you. God, this is so freaking cool. If you want to tell me... Dude, Peach game coming out. Guess what? You become all powerful and shoot energy beams at a giant mask of death. It's like, oh, I'm sorry, what? What was your first thought when I said we were doing Princess Peach Showtime? I was like, oh, neat. <laughs> I never thought it would escalate. Well, I wouldn't put it on here unless if it did. Oh, shooting a black That's cross. X. Yep, big old black X. Black energy X. Oh. Uh, hmm. I think I'll sit over here. <laughs> I, was just, I was just thinking, it's like, would you stop moving? God! Boy, DBZ would be a lot less interesting if Goku just Kamehameha the villain every five seconds. This is just like, that! Now, Goku, <laughs> you, you will fuck. You will fall victim. Will you stop? Will you, act? Will you knock it off? Ah, Kamehame! Oh, you no. <laughs> It's like actually putting effort into it the last time. It's just like, oh man. <laughs> All right, that's two. Do I hear three? The mask it's, it's is. Kind of, it's kind of leaking. It's getting Whoa. More corrupted. Whoa. What? Whoa. 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 Oh, yeah. I'm kind of with that one. It's all right. We're back. I love what I love what you've done to your hair. <laughs> Ah, just a big old bitch smack. <laughs> I'd like to think if Toadsworth wasn't retired, he'd be in the crowd just going, Woo! <laughs> That's my princess! Ooh. Oh, dear. It is kind of cool how, like, it is, like, the theater, like, in the background. I see it, yeah. It's so cool. Yeah. You could do this in a theater, like, like, like yeah. uh, Madame Grape is in center stage, Princess Peach is up here in the audience. That'd be fucking cool. And now, the mask is destroyed, revealing the sickly void within. Her dark Time to energy. do something about that! And... Oh, right. Pushing buttons. We gotta convert her. Using sparkler energy. The power of theater compels you! Hell yeah! Straight into the core of our heart and blows her the fuck up! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Now it's over! Wait, no. Oh. Oh, man. I almost had. No worries, Grape. You were a part of the ending. ultimate tragedy all along. Your own life. A little twinge of sparkle right there. If wow. you If you look really closely into the lore of uh, Princess Peach Showtime, you will know that she was a converted thief, and that's why she took over the th theater. And this is, oh, kill me! You can make a re you can make a religion about about those thieves, but I'd rather not be a part of it. I guess you'd call me an atheist. That one needs a workshop. I know. Anyway, recovering theater. Oh my god, this could be her final smash. Radiant Peach. That's what people are saying. It's like, oop, we've got new final smash, uh... Crap. <laughs> yeah, we got new... That's so good. New final smash ideas here. Where she just goes, hop! 
it, it, yeah, it'd be like it'd be kind of like Lucario's or something. Oh my god! It's like showtime. <laughs> <laughs> Fire Emblem characters getting de-atomized. Oh, no! <laughs> God damn. Sephiroth fucking no! <laughs> and that was Princess Peach Showtime Encore. Standing ovation. Bravo, bravo. Standing ovation. That yes, is yes, yes. So wonderful. Holy cow. So yeah. I mean, you look you look at the critics. They give it like seven sixes across the ten. You know, you, you know, whatever. But if if you sit down. Woo! Really just sit down and just let the game charm you. It, it'll turn into an 8, maybe even an 8.5. Oh, hey, that's what that gave me the entire time. It was a good feel. Yeah, good feel. That's, that's, that's the kind of games that they make. Trust me, I'm playing one right now. Yep. So Ibisu is the one who's been working on uh, Goemon forever. Yeah, he he he's the he's the Goemon guy. He's been like since like since like the beginning. He left in like he left Konami in 2005 to make Good Feel. They worked on like a few things, and Nintendo's like, hey, why don't you make games for us? Okay. So like, all right. So that's what they've been doing. Everything that they made has mainly been mostly for uh, Nintendo consoles. They've done a few like extra things, like uh, the the Street Pass in the 3DS. That's them, I guess. Cool. A couple of the uh, Find Me challenges in the later, the the later days of the console. Oh, that's so good. And of course, they did Kirby's uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn. That was their first real big foray into. Mm -hmm. Actually, no wait, uh, Yoshi uh, Wario Wario Land Shake it was. <gasps> That's right. Oh. Warrior Land Shake It was their first real big foray in, into gaming, and then it went to Kirby's Epic uh, Epic Yarn, Yoshi's Woolly World, really? Yoshi's Crafted World, Bakiru, and now Princess Peach Showtime. I could have sworn Epic Yarn came up before Wario. No, it was it was after. Oh, that's nuts. 2010, I think, was Epic Yarn. 2008 was uh, Warrior Land. Oh, that's crazy. All right, you guys are good in my book. That's some good stuff. But but yeah. I, I, I like this game. I like it a lot. It just, just goes to show you that if you just sit down, don't spend a whole lot of money, and just, just make make a good video game. Just make a good video game. Uh-oh. Look look what happens. UDJ's making a statement. Uh-oh. Make, making a statement? <laughs> what do you mean making a statement? <laughs> just make a good fucking video game. That's all you gotta do. See, <laughs> see, the best part is you could just take that statement and put it in every single LP we've done up to this point. It's just like, you just make a fucking video game, okay? Yeah! See right there, that's that's you. Yes, you, the player. You, you, you make a video game. You, make a video game. Oh, this must be, uh, the new gal. I think, uh, Samantha Kelly is the new Princess Peach voice. Is she really new, though? I thought she's been around for, like, a few years. Uh, most likely. I mean, when Princess Peach only has, like, what, seven lines through many, many years, it's just like, okay, well, <laughs> barely noticed, barely noticed. Oh, bad animals! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Those crazy animals? Jeez. Yeah, any, uh... Any, any, any last thoughts or whatever? Or? No, this is fun. Yeah, yeah. This is fun. This is a good time. I, I really need to pick up this game. But knowing Nintendo's prices, it'll still be 60 by Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Well. That's all right, though. That's all right. I don't know if it's going to be a rare one, though, because, you know, it's kind of hard to... I don't know. How hard is it to get the original Super Princess Peach? Well, it's a DS game, and yeah, it's, those it's are a, obsolete. It's but. a DS game, so it's really hit or miss. If I had to guess, it's probably going to be like 40, 40, 50. That's, uh, that sounds on, the, about, on this market. That, that, sounds, that sounds correct. 21? Is that game only? Maybe? See, see. all right, I got... You got 40 for GameStop, 20.99 for Walmart, 55 on eBay, 30 on Etsy, 15 at Walmart. Huh. So it just depends on where you go and how much of the game you Some actually want. Some bitchin' shoes, by the way. Oh, look at that! Holy cow! Well, maybe maybe Super Princess Peach is in the future. No, it's 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 not that great. It's 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 basically like you know a forgotten Yoshi's Island sequel, something like that. Yeah. You ever played it? Uh, very briefly. It, yeah, I played it in high school. You don't, you don't need to play. It. <gasps> My crown! Oh yeah, right. Uh, we lost our crown at the beginning of the game. Uh, we we kind of kind of. Can I get that back, please? Maybe. Yeah. Please. So I can get rid of this stupid ponytail. No, please keep it. It's so beautiful. Also, Madame Grape's mask was still in the ocean, which means there's a possibility that she will return. And the thieves are like, you're leaving? <laughs> Whoa! 
I, d I didn't even know I was missing. <laughs> this whole time? <laughs> We had a replica. We've got like 30 of them in a closet. Here you go. <laughs> Just in case you lose it again. All right, time to put it back on my head. <laughs> it's a symbiotic relationship. This is what makes me royalty. Tendrils from her skull reach in. And... <laughs> oh, Peach, we didn't know this about you. Well, how do you think I was? I became radiant? I... Oh, no. Why is the toad still holding it? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm like holding it, but... <laughs> it's just, it's just... I guess I'm still here. T oh, t no! Don't get rid of it! Pr princess! Put it back! Pr princess! Your crown! Your crown, princess! I, I, I have it here! Peach, you slay with a ponytail. Don't get rid of it. Ah! Uh, princess! Killing me! Your crown! Princess! <laughs> your crown! Crown princess right here! You're hearing this as she's walking away. She's like, no! Who needs princess, that? Please! The crown princess! You need to lead us! Princess. Oh, there we go. I'll take it. You're no longer worthy. <laughs> what? D don't give that away! That's your symbol! <laughs> she still is the new monarch. And I just give it away. So look at all these quality assurances that they have here. They got a, they got a lot of people to say, mm hmm, that's a good game. That's a game. Oh, look at that. A little curtsy and everything. And the next slide is unfortunately it doesn't fit anymore. It's too much ego underneath that crown. It just falls to the floor with a giant thunk. Who will take up the crown next? You know, I've been watching uh, reruns of uh, Siskel and Ebert's uh, worst movies lists. Mm-hmm. Some of them, like, it's funny to watch, it's a subject to watch, but those guys are unpleasable dickbacks sometimes. Well, yeah. Especially when it comes to horror, it's like, I was watching this horror film and I did not get any of it. It's all, it's violent and it's cruel and it's bad, two thumbs down. One of the worst of the year. It's like, you guys aren't good. Princess. But, but when, when it's a really bad movie, it's really neat to, to, to agree with them. Especially because we've never heard of before. Princess, because it's so bad. Princess Peach Showtime was just hours and hours of the same thing over and over again. You smash a button, you beat a guy. It's like Princess Peach Showtime was as vapid and as, as, as insulting as the juvenile plays that she was a part of. I felt the ditzy, blonde-headed main heroine was certainly an, an, Ill, an ill fit for what should be an excellent theatrical romp. We give Princess Peach Showtime one thumb down. Oh, only one. Oh, okay. They wouldn't make their worst of, of the year, but... They, no, no, no. No, they'd like it. It's in, High five! They don't even like games. Whatever. One of them's dead. Oh, They're both dead. Oh, that's who... Be oh! Oh, that's a surprise Nintendo classic. I didn't even know they were a part of this. Oh, my God. And, uh... Let's take a picture. Beautiful. Dude... Do 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 oh. Skabloofa Dorfin Shaloub A special dress is now on sale. Talk to the shopkeep to learn more. I sure hope it's you can, worth You can oh. decorate the theater now. Oh, that's actually cool. You can now take on the hide and seek challenge. Talk with the ninja sparkler for details. You can now take on boss challenges. Oh, Check the post boy. the stairs for details. Yeah, there is an enormous amount of post-game content. I mean, you didn't really get a whole lot, but it's it's just basically, hey, you want, you want a little more? You want to play the whole game over again? Well Dude. then, welcome back to... Princess Peach, showtime! That's what we've been playing. Which she, which she says in a much more happier note now. So things have changed a little bit now that we're in the post-game. Yay, Peach, you must have read my letter! Everyone here, they, they, they want to see more because you're so great! Yeah, okay. Alright. Thanks for giving me the bow back. I, I kind of, you know, my crown, though, I'd, I'd rather... I left it at home. Oops. Uh, hmm, there seems to be a, uh, a scuffle. What are you guys mad about? Autograph. What do you want to have? I mean, uh, make them happy. I can't do anything. 
Damn it. Oh well, you guys are just gonna have to keep fighting. Alright, 999 coins, let's see it. Crap. It's a grape dress! It, hmm. There's you know? There's a few other uh, dresses we can buy as well, but she we'll get a we'll get a sparkle dress. Yeah, why not? She actually looks really good in purple. Oh my god. Yeah, I know, right? I'll we'll go ahead and throw that on, sure. Nice. Uh, what else can we get? I like the oh, figure skater dress. Pretty. The radiant dress, of course. Okay, keep that. Yeah, that's... Wear that, please. Yeah, that that's the one. God damn, that's a good look for you. And, of course, the radiant one for Stella as well. Okay. She's earned that, too. And now we're broke. Yeah, we are. It means you gotta play more of the game and get more get more gems and all that stuff, so... <laughs> Maybe we can make up for my horrid performance in all the side games. But over here... Hey, Peach, welcome! I'm so relieved that grape is gone. Words cannot express my gratitude. Might I trouble you for help with one more thing? You see, I like to use the power of sparkle gems to decorate the theater. That's what you use the remaining sparkle gems for. All right, let's de let's decorate the stuff. This is what you do with all the sparkle gems you got oh, so far. Oh, that's great. Let's let's just go down the list. Balloons. Get as much as we can. Ribbons. <gasps> Aww. So, this is why uh, sparkle gems don't matter too much. They are only for making the theater look nice at the end of the game. And there's no, like, special scene for 100% completion? I don't think so. You don't think so? Nope. This is good feel we're talking about. This is good feel we're talking about. But I say I don't think so for a couple of reasons. Oh. And we've already run out of money. But we were only missing five sparkle gems. Which means there's 15 extra somewhere. There's 15 extra somewhere. 5, 10, 15, no, That's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 3 times 5, wait, wait, wait a minute. 5 extra stages. Wait a minute. What, what if, what if? Aha. Uh -huh. You get three, Each I... of the bosses, including uh -huh. the final boss. Uh, 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 don't, don't, don't look. Don't look, there's, uh, uh, there's some including missing Including the ones. final, yeah, final boss. boss! Wait, maybe, maybe. Uh, there it is, basement. Uh, including, including the, the final, final boss! Has three extra gems attached to it. So that is one part of the post-game challenge that we'll take care of next time. But also... Mm -hmm. We're holding a hide-and-seek challenge. Can you find my apprentices hiding in each stage? Sure! So... Oh no! Does that include every? Oh! <laughs> every single uh, play on the floor has three apprentices, and every single one of the basement has one. Oh! Yeah. So that means you're gonna have to play the entire oh. game over again. Oh boy! Is that such a bad thing, really? No, I kind of, I kind of dig this. This is like the green stars in, in sure. Galaxy. Yeah. It, it's just, I, I see more stuff go on the completion screen. I'm like, yeah. So, oh, baby. So we've we've got, <laughs> we, it, it turns out that we have a bit of an encore to this, to this series. Join us this Sunday for the final episode, the real, true, extra bonus final episode of Princess Peach Showtime. We look at all the extra bonus post-game stuff. See you then. Jump on top of Stella. Okay. On top, on yeah. top. Please, please, oh, uh, grant me this. Come on, please, wait, 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 w